we're known to to be developing a uh, uh, huge high-rise projects. But then, as um, uh, towards the end of 2013, we started venturing, uh, experimenting on medium rise. We launched three three residences in. Uh, November 2013. With our success, we were encouraged to launch other medium-rise buildings. So since then, we've launched South Residences in Las Piñas next to the mall, Vine Residences in Novaliches next to the mall, uh, in Bicutan, the same thing, Spring Residences. And just uh, last month, uh, in, uh, in November, we launched um, uh, Cheer Residences in Marilao, uh, Bulacan. So that these are all medium-rise as early as next year, most of our uh, newly launched projects uh, will be medium-rise buildings. We will continue with our, uh, with our high-rise uh, buildings, but then our growth will be coming from medium-rise projects. I believe that for next year, we plan to launch about nine, nine projects, I believe. Uh, but then we will continue to have our high-rise projects, but then we'll have medium-rise projects, and then we'll also start uh, launching our house and lots. Why would it make sense for the group to venture into other formats such as housing lots. There's a housing backlog of 4.8 4 million units in the country, of which uh, the bulk belongs to the economic and the affordable segment. The economic is the range uh, where we think our MRB will fit, and the backlog there is 3.6 million. So that's really where the, the bulk of the backlog is. So we need to be in that market. The launch of the housing lot depends on the permit process <clears throat> and our ability to convert land, uh, well, from classification from agricultural to residential. So uh, right now there's a moratorium there, but uh, we have a few properties that have already been converted. So we'll launch at least maybe one to three uh, house and lot projects next year. Many will be in the fringes of Metro Manila and uh, new locations like Cavite and uh, Northern Luzon. And uh, a few will be in the Visayas, <coughs> namely Iloilo, Bacolod, Cebu, and Davao. What do you think will be the impact of the impending rate hike on sales? Many of our buyers are end users. So end users, uh, we believe, are, are less sensitive to interest rate hikes because they need a home. So I think the pending interest rate hike will not uh, affect our sales. The other reason is that the, um, about half of our sales are from, are from OFWs. And uh, as you know, um, the peso has been uh, well, weakening compared to the U.S. dollar, so that uh, it increases the ability of the OFWs. It makes it afford more affordable for them to buy in the Philippines, so that partly offsets uh, any uh, negative effects of interest rates. What is your outlook for the residential property sector for 2017? We're very positive. Going by our performance in 2016, and the take up of our uh, medium rise projects. Um, and uh, the fact that about half of our sales come from overseas and that the peso has weakened, it, make it, become, they, it, it effectively increases their purchasing power to buy properties in the Philippines. We're very, very positive for 2017.